Western Redbud, Catalina Ironwood, Desert Willow, California Sycamore, Torrey Pine, and Mesa Oak. They are just a few of the 1.5 million trees that make up San Diego's urban forest. The climate that we have is, is really unique, and so there's a, many species that can, that can grow here. Jeremy Barrick is the city's urban forest program manager, a board-certified master arborist. He's the guy tasked with making sure the city's tree program takes root and grows to new heights. Urban forestry in general has three goals, to maximize the benefits of trees, maximize the efficiencies in maintaining trees, and minimize the risk of trees. Trees' myriad benefits include providing shade for buildings which translate to lower energy costs, absorbing carbon dioxide, producing oxygen, and capturing rain, which reduces runoff. Like most living things, trees have to be nurtured. If a tree is dying, public safety is paramount. It can look good biologically with green leaves and twigs and still be structurally damaged. Ultimately, they you know, can reach a point where the, you know, the longer we let them stand, the greater the risk is that they're going to fail. And it's better for us to remove that tree under control rather than wait for Mother Nature to bring that tree down. There are four reasons trees are removed. They are dead, irreversibly diseased or infested, hazardous to life, or conflict with infrastructure or construction. It's a decision we don't take lightly. Uh, we often have multiple arborists review the recommendation and the assessment before we, we go ahead with that. Barrick isn't alone in keeping the 250,000 trees lining the streets and sidewalks of San Diego and the trees in 40,000 acres of parks and open space healthy. There's the Parks Department, which is responsible for park trees and the trees within maintenance assessment districts. And then there's the Transportation Stormwater Division, which is responsible for maintaining the street trees and trees within the public right-of-way. In 2015, the San Diego City Council adopted the Climate Action Plan, or CAP, to address climate change. One of the strategies includes more than doubling the statewide average for tree canopy, starting with the planting of 2,000 trees in 2017. Statewide, the average in urban areas and the statewide average in California is 15 percent. So we have a very ambitious goal uh, that really starts with preserving and protecting the trees that we currently have, properly maintaining the, the trees that are already established and have been planted, and then planting new trees to grow that canopy cover. An ambitious goal, but one that can be accomplished with everyone's help. We have active tree planting programs. We have the Transportation Stormwater is planting trees. Uh, Public Works includes tree planting in their uh, capital improvement projects. Uh, we've been successful in obtaining several grants to plant trees, including one in uh, southeastern with where we'll be planting 500 street trees through a CAL FIRE grant. Residents can have a big impact. There's a couple of ways that people can get involved in San Diego. I think it starts with you know being the eyes and ears on, on the trees uh, for us, as well as mulching and watering young trees and trees in their yard. And then simply planting a tree is a big help. People can also notify the city when they see dead trees, hazards caused by trees, and they can volunteer with nonprofits like Tree San Diego to plant new ones. For more information on San Diego's Urban Forest Program, visit the city's website.